Hey Salibas, this is Super Zomica Barbecue, and today we are going to be playing some WWE Champions for the third time. Third time, baby. We're going to open a pack, first of all. We've got a couple of things to get done. Uh, you may have seen in the previous episode, if you haven't gone and check it out already, go and check it out, and then watch this one. I've linked it in at the end of the previous episode, so feel free to go and check it out, but we are on the road to getting ourselves some sweet ass cards. We're really far in to the NXT tour. In fact, we've completed the NXT tour, which we're gonna get into right now. We're gonna finish off the WWE live tour from Indianapolis, and that's gonna then move us on from there onto the European tour. We're gonna get even more bonuses. Now, there's some packs we'll get from that as well, which I'll open up at a later stage. Not now, I'm saving them up for when new things become available. We're gonna go up against the Authority. I've got my Undertaker, my two-star Undertaker, going up against the Authority with Dolph Ziggler, the show off as well, who is now max level, which means I've had the ability potentially one day to get him leveled up to a two bronze star. Let me know if you guys have got any new cards in the comment section below, any new superstars, mega superstars, or whatever, in the comments section below also remember to hit a huge like on this video if we can go for over a thousand likes that'd be amazing and also don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel the likes are going to tell me if you guys want me to continue this series because now we're on number three number two by the way was a huge pack opening we did a mega superstar pack opening talking of mega superstars we're going to do a small pack opening let's go and get ourselves a pack the mega superstar. And hopefully it's something good. Because last time, kind of didn't get much good until I got Booker T and then I got The Undertaker. So maybe we can get ourselves this sweet ass, and I'll show you what I'm after. Uh, this sweet ass, Jerry the King Lawler. I said I would cry grown man tears. Um, I might just do that if I got Jerry the King Lawler. Because this is in his old get up as well. Let's see what we get from this one. Mega superstars. It's going to be a gold. Now, absolutely legit, this, which you can see on the screen as well, I got it here, packed today, I did two packs, two packs, I got Darren Young in my first, which is the, uh, the one uh, gold star, so that's training points for me, second pack, and I'm literally just downstairs, just chilling, I think, you know, I'll, I'll buy an extra one just to, just to get a pack, and then <laughs> the bronze shows up, and I'm thinking... Yeah, it's good. It's good. It'll be decent. It'll be a two-star at least. And then it's just one, two, and then the third star pops up. I'm like, are you freaking serious? What is Jerry the King Lauder three-star bronze card superstar, mega superstar? I'll correct myself. This card goes up to 4,000 stats, which means it wipes the floor with practically anything. And... I tried to get on, I tried to get Brett, I finally got a card that literally is absolutely insane. This is the best card I have right now. And that taker that I packed is pretty freaking good, and that's leveled up quite far. This Jerry the King Lawler is going to be batshit crazy. Let's have a look quickly. Let's go to the roster. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's 478 already, right? And But apparently, let's, let's do the animation where he comes in down, because... That's awesome. I am so freaking happy. And it's a class I don't have many of. It's a class I don't have many of. But there's Jerry King Lawler. Packed. Free bronze star. And um, let's level him up a little bit. Let's use some coins to level him up a little bit. Uh, if I wanted to max him out, I'd have to spend 829,000 coins. And I could max him out right now and get like 4,000 points in him and just kick everyone's ass. But I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna hold back a little bit. I'm just going to um, level him up a little bit. Free Bronze Star, Jerry the King Lawler, packed. But these mega superstars are so hard to pack. I mean, I've seen people just looking at videos go through like 50,000 cash to get one. And, oh wow, that's... You know, I just hit the jackpot. I would just literally hit the jackpot. And I love the outfit as well. It's the old style Jerry, yeah, Jerry King Lawler, not the new style. So um, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's that's awesome. Very, 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 very pleased. Um, oh, wow. Couldn't say more than this is amazing. Absolutely freaking insane.
Let's go and get ourselves into the match now. We've got uh, a match against the Authority, which is going to be nuts. Thank you all for your help in the last video and your hints and tips regards to fusing cards as well. I'm also looking to do the versus mode as well. Because the versus mode apparently is really good if you are a free player and you're looking to just to you know grind yourself to get a better better reward from the game and get better superstars, better cards, etc. I also have the fact you can open packs without having to spend any money. You can literally just go and play the game and, and as you progress, you'll get stuff that allows you, like in these modes here and also in some of the daily challenges, you get yourself enough coins or tokens to go and get yourself some amazing packs which might just help you get a better deck. And there was this one guy who opened up a pack with the coins he got from this challenge. And he's been playing the game for about a month or so now. And he actually got himself a two-star superstar. Uh, two bronze stars. So his deck has immediately just skyrocketed. Uh, and he is a very, very happy chappy. So he's got two finishes at the moment. But you know what? I'm going to try and avoid Kane coming in at this point. He's now got a turn, but I am going to be able to pin him. But I'm going to hold back on the choke slam because if i was to go for the choke slam right now i potentially would completely screw myself up because if he then comes back in with the, with the tag then we're going to lose very quickly but we can get the submission out of it it's all good i am going to go for the blues here which hopefully means i'll be able to get his health down to zero maybe he'll tag someone in now i was hoping he was going to tag in kane because then i could just take him out in one hit with the choke slam there you go so kane's now in the corporate kane is now in and now he's going to go for a close line and probably try and take me out. Maybe try and take me out. Uh, he's now got another like uh, another finisher. But what we're going to do now is we're going to see how much damage Undertaker can do. Snake Eyes, first of all. Get some red. We can get ourselves a line of reds as well done um, too when it comes up. So this is going to give us some of the additional perks of having some good, good finishes. We can choose two uh, gems to convert to red gems. And then that will line up, which means we can then do some more damage. We've got 2,259 damage in that one. I would have preferred being able to do more more hits to him, but I'm not going to complain too much. The Brothers of Destruction are facing off against each other, but I'd like to get up right now. Kane, if you'd let me up, that'd be very much appreciated. No, he's going to pound my face in. So now I need to get out of this predicament. How, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get out of it, but at some point I will be able to. There we go. So we got ourselves out of it. Let's now just finish this match off. I'm going to use a flapjack and I'm going to use my choke slam. I'm getting done because takers uh, finishers are OP as hell. And we're going to use choke slam to get this all said and done. 3686. It's going to be hard for him to get that. Went one, two, and three. There we go. So the WWE Live Tour is done. Kaput. Over. And uh, if you've opened yourself some packs by doing these live tours, then let me know in the comment section below how you've got on. If you've got anything decent, it'd be great to hear from you. Finish that tour. We are now going to go on and start the WWE European Tour. And if you've progressed through this, we've got 4,000 for talent range for this. So you might have to have t superstars that are even bigger and better. But I think initially, the, the superstars aren't particularly the, that big. You know, if you've got yourself a couple of lucky pulls or... You got yourself a couple of lucky superstars that just trained up your cards over time. We're using the versus mode, which we're going to go into in a second. You might get yourself a bit lucky. In fact, actually, whilst we're there, I will actually go to um, the versus and actually claim my rewards. Now, if you go here, uh, I've got a, a win streak. I'm actually in professional league three. I don't know how this all works, but it seems like the more notoriety you get, notoriety you, get um, you go up in ranks. And if you have a look here... The notoriety sticks with you until the end of the tournament. The tournament ends in like a day or something. And if you go up to the top, the rewards you get are absolutely insane to get to Legend League. But you have to have like 5,000 notoriety. And to get to that level, um, your win streak has to be absolutely insane. And you only get like an hour or so to keep your win streak up. So it, it takes a while. And obviously, you've got to make sure you have lots of health and potentially have lots of really good superstars. So let's go and claim the rewards so far. I've got uh, some fame rewards which I need to collect, and if we we'll have a look at these as well. This is the great thing to do if you're just on the Lalo, and you're just thinking, you know, let's just, just chill, let's just chill. Um, you can go uh, literally beyond here. I think I've got quite a few rewards to collect uh, for the notoriety, um, and you can collect things like um, props and coins. So let's go and collect our coins. There we go. We collect our training points as well. More coins. Uh, more props, more training points after that as well. And we've got more coins. There's more props, more training points, more coins. 
Let's just keep going through this. Uh, I've got quite a few to collect, it seems. Ignore the YouTube notifications. Um, but there is more props, more training points. This is a great way to just chill out and play. I, I like this reward setup. I'm not going to get the next one afterwards. I'm going to have to wait to 9.50 to collect that. But you know what? I'll just collect the uh, the training points. And I've got to get another 100 Natarity to get the, the coins. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it now. Let's just go for it now. Um, I, You know what? I'm going to put in... I'm going to replace him uh, with Jerry the King Lauder and see what Jerry the King Lauder does in the ring. Um, but already we're going to kick the crap out of the rock. And uh, oh, that was a bad move. I just went in with like no health on my taker. Um, that was a bad move. Well, I was a little bit of an idiot. And I went in with no health, so I, I quit the game. I'm now going back into the game now. And I'm going to go and face these guys again with Taker. Hopefully, they've not been reduced down to zero health. Because that sometimes happens if you force quit a game. Let's go to battle. It, that's what happens. I actually am happy that they do that. Because it's a great way of stopping or, or disincentivizing people um, to go ahead and like quit the game. Um, if, they, if they're not winning or something. So let's go and battle now. Um, it'd obviously be great to get Jerry King Lord in on this match, but sometimes I'm actually done within like seconds. So let's see um, Taker versus the King B. It does get harder. The more and more notoriety you get, the more and more games you play, the more and more that your opponents get harder and harder and harder. So let's go for some. Let's go for some loot. Let's go for some loot this time. Because um, usually, if I if I do pretty well, anyway, I get a couple of loot crates. And the more loot you get in this game mode, the more notoriety you get, which means the higher you up you get, which means the better rewards you get. So uh, we got ourselves a signature move up, um, but I can actually now tag in Jerry King Lauder. So you know what? I'm gonna do a bit more damage to Triple H because he's gonna tag tag in. No, let's be honest, he's probably gonna tag in in a second. But I've just been pinned. I've got three thousand damage to build up to get out of this pinning predicament. So how am I gonna do that? This is going to be tough. He's he's hit me pretty hard. Um, I might have to get Jody King Lawler in to actually uh, get me out of this one. Uh, actually, no. I must have completely underestimated The Undertaker. He's going to completely kick Triple H's ass. We're okay. Um, but we can actually take out Triple H there. Um, I'm going to tag in Jody King Lawler now. Let's see what Jerry the King can do. He's not got particularly amazing moves. But uh, here we go. Uh, let's get it done. Reds. Purples or blues? No purples or blues. He's got to finish. He's going to go for a chokehold. Uh, ah, I've got to get rid of this. Okay, so how do I get rid of this? Is there a pedigree in the game? Because that's his finisher. And I'm, I'm surprised that's his finisher. Uh, that's, uh, I can't get out of this submission at the moment. Actually, yes, I can. Yes, good. I can get out of it. So, I'm in. There we go. We can just get rid, get rid of some additionals. Uh, he's going to use some more uh, finishing moves on me. He can actually tag back in Roman Reigns. Which, I don't understand that tag. Roman Reigns. He's actually been rumoured to, um, as, as this time of speaking, to be uh, taking Seth Rollins' place in the main event at WrestleMania versus Triple H. Uh, if they do that again, then just... I, I don't even know about WWE anymore. Unless they turn Reigns heel. Like, that's the only way that it could work, in my opinion. Ah, this might work, actually. Ah, damn. I, I knew I was setting myself up for failure there. Knew it. Uh, oh, I do have a self little move there. I can use a running drop kick, but it's not levelled up, so... It's not going to do a huge amount of damage. Um, but I could tag in The Undertaker now and finish this off. But no, I actually need to get out of this, pit, this pin. Can I get out of it? Let's see. Uh, what can I use? I've got... I've, I can only use the loot crates. So the loot crates are going to... Oh, it was an entire row taken out. That's great. So now I can actually get on with possibly getting back into the match and pinning Roman Reigns. But if I'm not careful, he is going to pin me. You know what? We'll just use some moves here. We'll use the body slam. Use the body slam, first of all. That'll take Roman down to pinning, but he'll probably tag in Triple H, let's be real. Um, and also we can use the signature as well. Maybe this will then allow us to use... Oh, we are going for the finisher. Even though I've not got that level it, it high enough, we are going for the finisher. We're going for the pin. Triple H didn't get tagged in. So we won! Great first match of Jerry the King Lord, although my, I did get my ass kicked a little bit. I need to uh, level up his moves because it's all right having like a, a ridiculously good superstar. But if their moves aren't leveled up, you're going to come up against people with much, much lower level superstars, but with really, really good move sets that are just going like, to knock three or 4,000 damage off you. I think this versus mode is a great way for free players to earn currency in game and to get themselves potentially things like packs or level up their cards and whatnot. This is actually a really, really great way of doing that. But... Um, I'm not going to play again another person. I think we've got enough there to actually get my next rewards. No, we don't. So we'll, we'll do one more. 
We'll do one more with Jerry King Lawler. Uh, let's level him up again as well. Let's take him up to 1500. 1500 is the, is, the, is the golden marker. In fact, that will mean that I can actually now start going into some of those uh, daily tournaments and the weekly tournaments and going for the top rewards in normal at least, not maybe not hard. Uh, Jerry King Lawler's unlocking a lot of potential in my team, in my squad. Which reminds me, I've got to start a faction. And I need your help because I don't know what to do. Should I make a faction for the channel? Should I make a faction for you guys, the Zalevers? Let me know. Maybe we should make a Zaleva faction. Maybe we could call them ZF. ZF. Uh, or something. Uh, the Zaleva faction. Maybe. You guys let me know in the comment section. Or should I join like a really, like a, a see if I can join a really big one. Um, because there's a lot of people, I know that um, a few people I know have got some big factions who've got lots of really awesome superstars and uh, mega superstars in their team. So let me know in the comment section below what you think I should be doing. And yeah, because I'm currently clueless as to what to do with the factions. I know you can get some really cool rewards. And if you're in a faction, you get some things that other people, if other people buy things, you actually get benefited from it as well. So it helps you when you're going into matches as well. Um, so he's going to go for an old school now. So we actually, I just didn't even realize we're taker on taker right now. Taker on taker. But Jerry King Lawler would literally tear this guy apart right now. But me getting the um, that Jerry King Lord, if you guys watch my supercard content, is pretty much as big as me getting you know an ultimate card or an ultimate throwback pro or something. This card is freaking insane. I'm gonna see if I can try a cheeky pin because 2,756 damage might just get this guy down. I'm gonna see. Does it do it or not? I added that shit tons of other... Oh no, in fact, it's, it's going to pin him in this. Oh, yeah. We, we won. Woo! Okay, and we get some decent loot bonuses as well. And that'd be... Oh! What a match to finish off. We've got maximum loot crates. Loads of gems destroyed. And we're going to get maximum notoriety. I think we get three stars, which increases notoriety. And we get an additional 60 fame on top of that. Why is my win streak reduced? Oh, because I quit out of the game. Okay, so if you quit out of the game, guys, you at any point, then you lose the match automatically, which sucks a little bit. But, you know, we're going to get ourselves the next reward. So that's all, I'm, that's all I'm looking forward to. And here's another question. Would you like me to continue playing on my phone or would you prefer I do it on Bluestacks? Uh, because some people actually prefer it be, the look being on the mobile instead of it being on Bluestacks. On stream, I'll do Bluestacks because it's just so much easier for me to look at chat and stuff like that. But if you are more interested in seeing my recorded videos done on the iPhone because it might look better for you guys. Let me know. Comment section below. So, uh, what did you think of uh, that incredible pack pull? Absolutely insane pack pull. Jerry the King, freaking Lawler, three star bronze character, mega superstar. A mega superstar has been packed. Let me know what you think about that comment section below. Remember to leave a huge like on this video. We can get up to a thousand. That'll be just more than a thousand. Let's just go for a bazillion. No, no, we can't actually physically do that, but you know, let's just go for as many as possible. More than a thousand would be absolutely amazing. Remember to hit up the subscribe button just beneath me here uh, for more WWE Champions, WWE Supercard, W2K17, WWE content in general, and I'll see you all very soon. Hit up the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as Facebook details, so you can go like, follow on those pages, and see when my next streams video is going to be uploaded and stuff, and I will see you all very, very soon. One last thing before you go, and that is to... Sorry!